Hey guys, in this tutorial we'll take a look at how to recreate this downsizing trick and get sucked into a vacuum cleaner. We'll recreate this in Adobe After Effects, so let's get started. First let's see how this was shot. You should have the shots without the clone planned ahead and already know where the clone is going to sit, so that you can record the clone afterwards. For the clone shots I used a green screen. It's very important to pay attention to perspective so that the green screen shot will match with the background. Otherwise it just wouldn't look right. Also try to match the lighting. Now that we have all shots, let's open up After Effects. Place the background shot on the bottom of the timeline and the green screen shot on top of that. Now grab the pen tool and create a mask so that it contains just the green screen area. Then look for key light effect and apply it to the green screen layer. Pick the green color and play around with the settings. Then choose intermediate result and apply advanced spill suppressor effect to this layer. This will remove the green spill. Next scale and position the layer. You can also make the layer 3D. Now we can work on the shadows. I created a black solid and made a mask below the body. Then I feather the mask slightly. I also made some duplications of the shadow. Now duplicate the green screen layer and move it back to create the legs shadow. Use the fill effect to fill the layer with black color. Then blur out the layer with the fast blur effect and reduce the opacity. Next you can use the curves effect and adjust the colors and lighting to match it with the background. Now we can move on to the part where the clone gets sucked into the vacuum cleaner. Cut the green screen layer at the start of the action. Then choose the puppet pin tool and create some points on the body. We'll use these points for the animation. Make sure that the animation of these points is enabled and also enable animation for position. Next go ahead and animate the points accordingly to the movement of the vacuum cleaner. Additionally, don't forget to enable motion blur for this layer. Obviously we want to make it look like the clone goes into the vacuum cleaner, so we need to create a mask around it. Duplicate the background layer and move it to the top. Then use the pen tool and draw a mask around the vacuum cleaner pipe. Also animate the mask for a few frames and feather it out. Furthermore, we need to get rid of the shadows. So just fade it out or animate the position for a few frames if necessary. And that's it. Now you can pre-compose everything and add some color grading. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.